Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina. This is Lifting Pins and Needles and thank you for joining me today. Now I want to show you two shorts today and I'm really trying hard to sell you two very boring pieces. They're not boring but they're not as exciting as other things I've made but very very needed. Basics, solids, uh, things that you could wear or some along and that's where I'm standing. I need really comfy things that I could just th throw on, put on and feel comfortable in in the summer when I'm traveling light and I want to take as few things as possible uh, that will just go with everything and I could wash and wear and wash and wear you know okay so months and months ago I made the duet trousers by Love Notions um, I have already hacked that pattern after perfecting the fit to that um, many times that the, the basic pat pattern for that one has become my pant block as such. I don't know how to draft a trouser onto myself. I'm not that skilled. I am more skilled in my upper half. I know that part of my body <laughs> way better. I do know what my measurements are for the bottom half of me, but I wouldn't know how to draft from scratch a pair of trousers. So because I modified that uh, pattern to fit me uh, like I wanted to fit, that has become my block and I can modify that to create other styles of trousers. So I have already done like a, a long wide leg, like an even wider leg culotte. So I'm putting in pictures here so you can see. And if you haven't seen those vlogs, you can go and watch those. Anyway, I needed the perfect comfy short uh, that would just go up with no waist starts, no zippers, nothing, no pockets, just a comfy yoga style knit waistband but that they would still fit the crotch and your bottom and would have the same shape, you know. So I went ahead and modified the pattern um, again so I could have this style that I wanted. So um, yeah, I've made two already. You're gonna see the modifications I made to the pattern. And I've always had questions of how I sew on the neat waistband onto woven um, fabric. I always do that. So I actually film myself sewing one of these waistbands on and the precautions I take, the stitch length, all that sort of thing, so that you can see. And then I'll be back to show you the shorts. From my duet trousers, um, I'm going to create a shorts pattern. So I've transferred my duet pattern onto this pink cardboard and this will be like my master pants pattern. So you can see that's on there. And I have marked here measuring from there, from my waist down the length that I want them to be 47 centimeters. And I have just thrown a line across to the other side, the same perp perpendicular to the grain line. And now from the uh, side seams, I don't want the shorts to be as slim as the pants would, so I'm going to give it a little bit of a flare out of an inch. So I'm going to measure that there. And then I'm just going to uh, draw a line from under that notch at the hip. Just right under that notch, I'm going to take it out an inch. There. And from the inseam, I'm also going to give myself one centimeter extra room here. So these shorts will still be slim, but not as slim as the trousers were. So I'm just going to taper that centimeter to the inseam, taper to nothing up there. And then my front pad pattern is going to be ready. I've already marked my pocket line as well there. And I'm going to do the same with the back. So I've already made my back pattern piece. I did the same thing. I put my pink pattern there on top and just traced around it from that notch mark there at the hip line, just at the bottom of the notch. I drew out the line two and a half centimeters out. You can see that's the original line of the pattern there. And the same for the inseam. I took that out one centimeter to match the same what I did on the front. I've matched my grain line. There is my dart. And what I've marked on these shorts as an optional, in case I want to do that on some of these versions, is um, the yoke. So that green line there uh, marks the yoke. And I'll so when I have my back piece and I grab my front, my inseams match. There, they, they're the same length. And when I match up the side seams there, they match as well. 
so um, yeah this is the preferred length now I remind you my base patterns like this don't have seam allowance or hem allowance so when I cut it on fabric I'm gonna add on about an inch of hem allowance for that you saw the modifications I made to the duet trousers to make them into shorts um, if I was gonna make them properly I would do the pockets all the thing you know the back that but I just want loose comfy fitting shorts with my knit waistband that I always do at the top so I'm going to make them without the pocket I'm not closing that dart I think I could shimmy into them if I don't close that dart and I might leave myself a tiny bit more seam allowance just there on the top not more than like I don't know less than a centimeter extra here on the top I'm just gonna do that modification on the fabric I'm not gonna like create a new pattern piece for this so we'll see how that turns out to attach on the waistband I use these settings two and two so the zigzag is small but not terribly small on number seven which is just the settings on my machine I sew it with a three uh, eight seam allowance as you can see I've already surged it on uh, first the waistband to the shorts um, I do that by marking quarters um, you've seen me do that on knits uh, cuffs neckbands it's all the same and then I go stretching the bottom bit there that you can see is the woven and I just go slowly making sure there's no puckers so I go stretching out the waistband on top and making sure it's all stretched out nicely and you can see underneath there the little zigzag stitch and it'll just stretch the woven will stretch with the knit waistband and it's a really nice finish it's nice and clean okay so here is the first pair I, they're black <laughs> they have my waistband there my waistband is six centimeters high so basically because it's folded twice you need 12 centimeters to be able to fold it but then you need a bit of seam allowance to sew it onto the onto the shorts so I cut strips of 14 centimeters you know in the height and then however long you want it I usually cut it about four inches smaller than my natural waist uh, because this is replacing elastic basically there's no elastic in there because the knit is really high quality um, I buy heavyweight knits uh, sport wear fabric 300 to 400 grams per meter squared is what I like it's thick it's durable it, it stretches and has recovery uh, that is the type of knit I use for waistbands so yes very comfortable um, now I made the top of the waist just wide enough to be able to shimmy in you know without having loads of gathers here on the top I don't like the, the volume I want just enough so that I can shimmy in without having closures zip or whatever like that so yeah very very flowy now this is I don't know what this is some like it's it feels like viscose with polyester blend it feels really cool to the touch really cold to my skin and when I wear it it flows like water and it's like I'm not wearing anything okay so that's the first one the second one is exactly the same and it's made in um, this like khaki green silk it is awesome I love this fabric and I just put on a black waistband same as the other one exactly the same this one also feels so nice and I mean when I dress I'm on the dressing up more uh, scheme of things rather than dressing down I don't really dress down that much <laughs> so I could happily wear this with a really nice blouse and some really nice high-heeled sandals and feel really good in these and yes I'm gonna show you how they fit real quick okay so I've got the olive green pair on you can see the ease around the legs is really nice the length is quite modest just a few inches above the knee uh, nicely fitted around the hips but still with a bit of give it fits the bottom real well it fits the crotch real well and then you've got this amazing waistband super nice I really love them okay and now I have the black pair you can see how flowy like if I walk they just flow with me um, they're not huge they're not tight they just have the perfect ease that I want and the feet as well nicely not fitted but shaped 
to me it fits the bottom well and yeah it's just the perfect pair of shorts that weighs like 10 grams that I can pop in a suitcase and just wear and wear and wear cool so you know how versatile this pattern is now I can make a bunch of stuff from it and I have so many patterns now I don't even need to have any more patterns for trousers because I can you know have all the styles I like <laughs> thank you for joining me uh, don't forget to subscribe, share and like, hit the notifications so you don't miss when I upload and that is all. Happy sewing!